Good morning, everyone. Today we're having a special swap over at Ginger's Corner. And, um, well, actually, I was supposed to do this on the 15th, but I'm really behind. <laughs> so I'm doing it today. And we've actually got our swap groups, but this is just the kind of thing that, um, you know, we do during our swaps. Sometimes we have a special one where you'll just swap with one person and you'll make, you know, um, a different amount of items depending on what the swap is. And this one is four um, Christmas cards made with scraps and... Um, and then it's going to be swapped with one person. So she'll make me four cards and I'm making her four cards. And so anyhow, this one that I'm doing right now is called, what's the name of this one? It is not White Christmas. It is called, ah, ah, I know what it's called. Oh, here it is. It's called Merry Little Christmas. And so, um, I actually had the um, 4x6 paper and nope, it's the 8x, the 8x6 paper, 6x8 paper, yeah, depending on which way you turn it, <laughs> okay. So um, let me give you a little rundown of what I've done. Um, I actually have kind of an assortment of different envelopes. Um, I did buy like um, invitation envelopes <coughs> and then I also have, excuse me, I also have other size envelopes and <coughs> I think this one here actually came from um, when I bought ink. They sent envelopes for you to make cards or whatever. So anyhow, I just took my envelopes and then decided how I was going to, if I, my card is going to open this well, um, open this way or you know this way or whatever so I actually have one square one and I think everything else is rectangle so so I've got my envelope here and then um, I, I have these little papers falling out of here and I'm thinking what's that <laughs> because I actually um, cut up a couple pieces to put on the inside so this one here looks like a sweater and I have to tell you I, there's a diagonal that has these little berries on them and I wanted to use that so bad but every time I put that on there and tried to put something on there it just blended right in. Now my friend who's my scrapbook buddy she would actually open up her card and do this because so sometimes we've accidentally put it on the other way so that might be a tip for you if you're somebody who um, sometimes flips it over but when I'm working on it I really like it like this so I'm just gonna, I'll check every single time to make sure that I do have it open the right way. Okay, so um, I've got, a, I this collection, I am pretty much down to, actually I have no paper left, and except for the six by eight pad. Okay, and, and the embellishments, some of the embellishments. And there's actually embellishments that I can still cut in the six by eight pad. Okay, so um, I have this little scrap. It had like snowflakes on one side, which was a scene. And then on this side, it is this diagonal stripe, which I just love. So this was off um, the large paper. Okay, and then um, I have this corner piece, which is just beautiful. I cut it out last night because um, I wanted some different embellishments and what I had actually left of uh, the things that were already cut out. So I'm going to put this over here in the corner and I'm going to let part of it um, kind of go over the little stripe and then I have this piece here and I used this the other day in a layout and this one um, and when I did, I cut this off, but this one I'm, I'm going to leave it on. This is one of the laser prints. So I love how they look when they're laser cut out. And I think I'm not going to glue that on there right now, just in case I um, change its position. 
because I'm going to tuck in um, one of these little white poinsettias. And you know, I have such a commitment issue with the, with the glue. <laughs> I want to do everything with this first. Oh, and you know what? Oh, look at that. It wasn't glued down or taped down well at all. And so, because I actually want to put in one of these over here. And it's all right if it um, overlaps the edge of my first layer because there's about a sixteenth of an inch over here too. Okay, and then I want another piece. And before I put these in the mail to my partner, I will um, make sure they're taped down good. So, see, I think I want this up here a little bit. So I'm just kind of tucking it in so it looks like it's part of the same arrangement. Okay, and I think I'm gonna tuck that behind there just a little bit. Okay, I think that's a good place for it, but again, I'm not gonna push it down until I know for sure. Okay, and then I have one of these ornaments. And I'm gonna have it overlap this, but let me see my little, I um, cut the branding strip, because I'm gonna put that right here. You know what, I probably need this up a little further. Or maybe I'll just let this overlap the top a little bit. Oh, look at that. Oh, it goes this way. I was going to say, I swear I cut it the other way. <laughs> sure enough, I did. Okay. So I want that there. <laughs> I thought, boy, that's messing with my brain. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put that right here. Um, maybe pull this up a little bit. You'd think I, I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> and I actually have a plan. Okay. I'm going to tilt it or try to make it straight with the one down below. Okay, I think that's good there. And then I'll tuck this back in again. <laughs> and maybe it will be in the right place this time. Okay, and let's see. I want this little Santa hat to be oh, roughly right around here. I don't want it to cover up the Merry Christmas. And I want this little ornament tucked behind the little Santa hat just a little bit. Okay, so now I should know where to put this. But as you can see, you just never know. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's good there and then I have a bigger ornament and a smaller ornament one is green and the other one is red and I'm gonna put this right here and I like them to look like maybe they fell off the tree and so it's just kind of tilted there I don't know if this is <laughs> gonna work I'm trying to tape this little tiny thing. Okay, yeah, I got all, enough tape on there. And this one I'm gonna tilt the opposite way. And then I have a cardinal. It's so funny because when I was playing with these to decide what I was doing, I put this here and it's like, oh, I just, I don't like how it looks. And then I decided, oh, let's see if his tail was back there. Look at how much better it looks because then it looks like it really happened. <laughs> so that is my first, well, it's not done yet, okay. So um, I'm going to put a little glue behind there because I can tell that I'm going to pop it up every time I open it up. Oh, 
I got a little glue. Let me get that wiped out of there. Okay. So inside here, I thought I, I like something on the inside. Even though I don't expect something on the inside, I like it there. So I'm going to just put this right up here on the left corner. And then I've got this little house. And this is all from the same collection. And I'm just going to put the little house right here. Okay, so that's it. There's the little house. There's the cover. So that's number one. And it should have no problem fitting in there because I cut it just a little bit smaller. So no matter how many things I stuck on here, it would still fit in there. Okay, so that's number one. Okay, and then I have, I had an ivory envelope, so I thought I would like to try that. Now i got to find my picture. Okay, so I've got all these little pieces. I've got some wooden snowflakes. This little here, it's from Christmas book one, I think. Oh, Christmas book two. It has like storefronts, windows, doors. Just beautiful. Okay. And the rest of it is from Mary and Bright with the exception of this paper and of course this paper. And so this was a parchment paper which I love this. Now it's got some seams in it, but I don't know why. Maybe it was for something else originally. I'm not sure. Let's see. I'm going to put it here. And I didn't even realize that until I um, got it all cut and everything. And, but they're like, they're not folded or anything. They're, it's just like a, a line. So I'm not going to worry about it. It still looks beautiful and I don't think it's noticeable because I never noticed it when I was looking at the whole sheet. <laughs> okay, I love this burgundy on here. It's so pretty. And then I'm going to take this and put on here and you know what? I should have actually um, cut it before I put it there. Let's see, do I have a pencil here? Okay, I do. Because I want it like this. So I'm going to cut it here and here to here and then here to here. So I do have my my Tim Holtz cutter. So I'm going to cut that off. And I thought it would be better if it's straight, so that's what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, that should do it. Now, how did I manage that? It's off. <laughs> I don't know how, what I did. Okay, so there. Huh. Terry, Terry, Terry. I must have moved it. And you probably seen me move it and you probably yelled at me and going, Terry, don't do it, don't do it. Because <laughs> I don't know how I did that. And at no angle does that work, does it? Okay, now another plan. I have to have another plan. Okay, so I'm going to trim that off right there. Yeah, I don't even know how I managed to do that. Okay, I'm just cutting that a little bit there because I'm going to make it work here at the biggest part. I do have, um, maybe I'll tear this because that way it'll just look like 
it happened on purpose. <laughs> okay, because I'll, I'll like that. Yep. See, almost everything else I did ahead of time, except for that. Okay, and I'm going to put this down here to where it looks like it's kind of matted with that. And then I'm going to do it here too. So I'm going to make that look like a straightener. So I'm going to do that first. That's why I need this. While I was at the post office, did you see, or did you say enamel dots or embellishments? I probably said embellishments. You said embellishments? Yes. Embellishments, embellishments, <laughs> Terry. Show them where to put them now. He cannot be controlled. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I lost something. Okay. I'm going to have to get that. So I want this to be right about there. Yeah, that looks like the spot. And then I'm going to want this right here. Yep, that should do it. Okay. Okay, because I only had these pieces, but this is what I like there. And I probably could have got something from another collection, but it's like we're supposed to be using scraps, and I'm into it, and I figure I can get those to work. Whoops. I'm trying to get that to the same distance. And push them down. Okay. I'm going to slide this one in a little bit. I think somebody's pounding some music out over here. <laughs> and it does sound like pounding. <laughs> we have a race car driver that lives over here. And he has that music playing whenever he's out there working, I think. No matter what time of day or night. Okay, I like that there. That should be perfect. Okay, I'm going to push these down real good. And I will tape them later. I mean, glue them later. And now, since I tore that, I'm going to bend it a little too. You know, happy accidents. So Bob Ross would say. Okay, I think right there. And then I have um, this beautiful door. Or when, it's actually a window, I'm sure. Okay, I'm going to put it right about here. And then I have these gorgeous snowflakes from Hobby Lobby. And I think they still have them this year. I bought them last year. And everything is 50% off if you go there. And I bought two of these because I love these. Otherwise, I'd probably be hoarding them and not wanting to put them on um, cards that I send away. <laughs> That's telling on myself, ain't it? <laughs> okay, and I'm going to put that about here. Oh, that's my partner. She just messaged me. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to put that. It'll be funner, funny. I'll have to tell her that she messaged me right in the middle of my video.
I think she said that she was working on hers too. Ah, I almost dropped it. Okay, I think right about here because I kind of want the everything to kind of be in the same distance. Look at how pretty it is. And now I love it that it's torn. <laughs> I love that. It's so pretty. Okay, and then um, I took another scrap and I had um, I had cut a banner and this was off one of the I think these are well no this was off a piece of paper oh it's actually look at it's that burlap look and this was off a these two were both off the three by four note cards okay now that's kind of heavy so I'm gonna <laughs> tilt it like that okay so I'm gonna put one of these in here with the little banners and I'm gonna put it to the left I think I did have three but three was too many I think I'll do it like that I just like the idea of having just a little something when you open up the card so it's not just plain. And I don't always do that, but it's like lately I just want something on the inside too. So, so maybe it will be something I just do all the time. Okay, and this one has um, a little snowman ornament which looks so cute and that's why I decided I was using that piece. Okay, so that's the inside. And I'll probably, once I glue it down, um, I'll probably pop these up a little bit so when you open it, maybe they're a little popped up, even though it'll be flat. So there's another one. And that goes with the ivory envelope. Okay. I gotta find my my cheat sheet here. Okay, so I got a string. Um, I got this. Um, it's a laser cut. I got a little bow, and this is one of the three by five note or three by four note cards. And this one I did um, a little square envelope, so it's got a little square. So there's my envelope. So I made a square card. And then um, this is actually the same paper as the first one I did, the Merry Little Christmas. And I mean, I, I can always do something with that. I mean, it's always. Okay, so this one I am using this sweater and it looks like I had a time tearing it out of the book because I usually do for tearing the book apart. But I love this sweater and to me, this was the first one I did, and I loved it right off. It's like, if they all would have been this fast, it would have taken me, you know, like, maybe 20 minutes tops. You know, if I had to cut anything out. Okay, so um, I think I'll put it like this, since the one side got kind of battered. I always have a terrible time trying to tear that off and I think they just don't oh, I don't have it straight they don't have it the paper or they got too much glue is what I really want to say am I gonna pull that off <laughs> good enough I don't know if I should just leave it because I did get a little crooked but uh, hopefully it's not, not too noticeable. Okay, I'm going to pull this up though a little bit here because I actually want to tuck some string in. I think I would be a little more prepared. <laughs> okay, so I this this is like one of my favorite um, favorite 3x4 cards. I just love the little... 
Well, I am on my third card. I have no idea when my camera stopped, if I if it stopped right from the beginning or not. I have no idea. We'll find out here shortly. And so, anyhow, um, if I don't have them all, then I guess you'll see them at the end. <laughs> so, okay, and I am recording now. Maybe, maybe I've just been on here that long and that it turned off. Because usually I hear it, but I did not hear it turn off. Okay, so I was saying, um, I love this sweater. I love that this is wintry. I love this little cluster. You know, it looks like it's snowing. And then we have a hot beverage. And it's like, yeah, I just loved how this turned out. Okay, now, you know, I, I just hate to glue until I'm really committed, but here, I'm going to do it. Because I want these little tiny things glued down so they don't pop up later. Okay, because these are those little laser cuts. So they're a little, well, they seem like fragile pieces, but when you're holding on to them, they actually feel kind of durable. Okay, so I'm going to put this just over that little string. Okay. And then I have this little bow here, and I'm just going to put it, I want it closer to the cup. I think I'm going to put a little closer to the cup. So I'm going to put that like that. I would have tied it on there, but you know, it's like, then it's pretty impossible to get a really nice tie. So, okay, and then I have these little stars that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I have these little silver ones. I would use the pink ones, but they are just off color wise. So I thought these little silver ones would be cute. Step on the floor again. Okay, maybe one down here. I'm trying to slide it over. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, I love how that looks. It's so cute. Okay, now what did I have to put in the middle of this? I did have something. Where is it? Where is it? Okay, is it here? Maybe. Nope. Okay, I don't know what I did with it. also had, I wanted to put Tis the Season on here, because it's Tis the Season for something warm and cozy, and I could put that down here, or I could put it on the inside, but I thought I had a little piece of sweater. Oh, I think this is for this. Yep, okay. And I still thought I had a little piece of sweater. Maybe I knocked it down. Let's see, or maybe I didn't. Maybe I just figured this and this. Do I want this on the outside? Or on the inside? I think I'm gonna put it here. Tis the season, and I'll put, I'll put it right about there. And then I have these little pieces of holly. Now I keep looking at the camera <laughs> to make sure it doesn't just turn off on me. Okay, let's see if I put it. I think I want it like this. Maybe like that. And then put this here like that. Yep, that's it.
Okay, yep, I gave just enough room for it. Okay, so that's what's going in there. Okay, I thought I had a piece of sweater too, but I do not see it. Nope, I don't see it any place. Okay, now I got my pieces to the other one. Hopefully my um, other cards got <laughs> recorded. Hopefully I noticed it right as it quit. Because I just looked up and it's like black and it's like, what? <laughs> but I love how that turned out and it's like, I mean just, it was like the first one. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. Okay, the next one. Um, this is like the first envelope. Oh, I think these were the envelopes. I, I don't know, maybe not. I think those other ones. One of the envelopes, so were from um, the, the place I used to buy ink from. Okay, so I have this. This is from what collection? Oh, it's from White Christmas. And I thought this would be fun because it's it's like I did two pink ones, I did a burgundy one, and now we're going to have one in blue. So I'm going to have this. Because I didn't actually plan to do four minte cards, but here you go. <laughs> four minte cards. I was going to do some, you know, maybe some Echo Park or something, but I just kept pulling out Mente like I didn't have any other plan. Okay, so I'm going to put this in the middle. And this, it looks very similar, but this is like a bigger design of that. Even though I think these are both, um, I think they were both 12 by 12 papers that were scraps. Okay, I just want to make sure this is straight. Okay. And I'm trying to find that one. Okay, there we go. I love how this looks already. <laughs> I kept trying to use one of the fancy papers, and then once you do that, it's like anything you put on it, it's just you can't see anything. Okay, so right down here, I'm going to add some little presents. And so even though I've got this little mat in here, I'm just going right off the edges of that, which I just love how it looks. the little cookies. Oh, I'm totally off the edge. Okay. And the little cookies. Hopefully I didn't do everything over in the corner. Okay. And I think this is my biggest cookie. So I'm going to tuck this in here. I have a little bit of the tape rolling off the edge. Yep. now okay and then I got two more of those cookies so you know my deal is three five or seven <laughs> all the time so I'm trying to get my little odd number in my cluster and put that one there and then one over here like they just maybe they kind of um, are just sitting here because they're all part of the gifts. Okay. And then I have these stars. And these are all from that white Christmas. Okay. Now I am going to put some 
glue on here just because of the pointy edges. I don't want them getting caught on something, getting pulled off. Okay, I want to make sure I have this going in the right direction like I want it. Okay, because this side looks longer, so that's the way I'm going to put it. I feel like I just tried to feed a baby. <laughs> that was uncooperative. Okay. Okay, I want it kind of up here a little bit. And I'm gonna put this deer over here, so I gotta make sure I have enough room for him. I think that's good there. And then I have a blue star that looks just like it. And I have to say this was kind of a case of, do I like the blue one better? Do I like the brown one better? And oh, maybe I should stack them. <laughs> and that's just what I'm doing. I decided I like them both together. Okay, and then I have the little deer, and I'm gonna put a little tape on them, and then I'm gonna put some glue on them too. Get his antlers and feet, and legs. They're long, thin legs, so I want those to where they're not gonna get caught on anything. And I'm gonna tuck a little bit of his foot behind the cookie there. I just think that's so pretty. I think last year I um, I'd done something with this and then somebody told me that there are white deer, and I just seen some um, on Facebook after I thought, are there white deer? You know. <laughs> so now I've got a couple of hollies. Now I'm starting out taping them, even though they're small, because I'm doing some layering and tucking. So I want to make sure that I can get all that in my design. Okay, so I want it kind of like that. I want this little lantern back here. Okay. I like that there. And then I have this ornament that's the bigger one of the two I have. And this one I'm just going to kind of make it look like it fell this way. And then I have one more. I tried to pull in everything that wasn't, you know, predominantly red. So that's how I got these. Okay, and then I have the little squirrel. And I gotta make sure I do his ears. Because they're pretty then okay and this little front leg there okay and then I'm putting them right here so now this I would like to have a little more this way so I'm going to turn them both a little bit if, if it's possible <laughs> There we go. And 
I don't think I had, I didn't have any words for on the top of this or anything. Okay. So then in here, I have a piece of that blue. And I'm going to run that right across there too. That's going to be it for that one. Okay. So that's that one. So we got a blue one, blue and white mostly. Okay. I'm going to fix the camera here in a second. <laughs> I'm trying to get my glue lid on. Sorry. <laughs> Wrong way. Okay, now I'm going to pull them all into the thing, and hopefully I got them all videoed. Because I could not tell just by looking at my screen when I pull it out. So there's that one. This one here. And I will um, have close-ups at the end, and hopefully they got all got videotaped. And then here's the first one I did. So all three. And I love how they turned out. I think they're so pretty. So I'll have close-ups at the end. Um, I don't know who else has shown any. Again, it's like I've been so busy this month that I have not um, even looked um, I think I I did look at two um, embellishments people made because I that was all I could commit to <laughs> and I think that's all and I don't know if anybody has shown any of the um, Christmas cards that they made but I was hoping to get to see some of those but I haven't seen any yet but I will have the links down below to everybody who swaps and also it will take you over to the YouTube link where you can see everybody who makes swaps. So thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful and blessed day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Or actually I'll see you later with my other video. Or maybe that one will be first and this one will be second. I don't know if you haven't seen the other one go look for it. <laughs> bye bye.